What is up, everybody? So we will get started momentarily. If you guys want to say hi in the chat, I'll try to pronounce your names as always. All right. We have a special edition of our live stream. Hello, JVS. That's my admin. He will mute you if you misbehave. A mill cigar, I guess. Sager? I have no clue. Oh, Jesus Christ, these are tough names right off the bat. Lotero? Nishant? Blake? Okay, I got Blake. What's up, everybody? <sighs> All right. Can we skip rating today? I don't know. We'll ask the chat. We're going to wait for a couple, just a couple, maybe a minute to let everybody get in. <laughs> What's up, Adrian? That is a fellow YouTuber. Check him, check him out. All right. <clears throat> I'm drinking water. Yes. Could be vodka in here, but there, there's not. That was last night. All right. Okay, so first I have to say, you know, I've been, I've been using a little bit more provocative thumbnails and titles, and this offends some people, but uh, really it shouldn't offend you because ultimately I am here to help. They're... Some said I'm, I've been insulting them, but that's not an insult. This is just me being honest. Would I personally hire most of you who submit? No, I probably not. Plus the thumbnail uh, verbiage. Uh, but at the same time, I'm gonna tell you why I wouldn't hire hire you. So I'm giving you a value. I'm, I'm helping you in some way. All right. So today, this is the live UI UX show called Negative Space. And I've done this for a long time. Today, I'm gonna to approach it from a slightly different angle. Instead of uh, me reviewing your designs as a fellow designer, I'm going to try as best I can to place myself in the shoes of your average, typical, potential client. Uh, for those of you who uh, have a de your designers, you have, you're like a UI designer and have a UI design portfolio, I'll put myself in the shoes of a person who needs a web design of some sort or an app design. Um, and then for those of you who are coders and has maybe like a code portfolio um, and somebody needs like a, a back-end developer or something, I'll try to put myself in th that person's shoes as well. Uh, so I'm going to, we're not going to be really, really focused entirely on design, uh, but I just want to give you just my initial thoughts uh, based on what I see. All right, so as always, everything else is just the same. So if you want to submit, you have to click on the YouTube description and uh, you click on the Discord link. You go there. That's this is Discord right here. This chat app, and you'll be thrust into the roles section at, for the first time. And then you have to give an emoticon react right here, based on whether you're a front end developer, blah blah blah. blah. That opens up all the other channels. Then you click on negative space submissions channel, and then that's where you submit. Now I'm telling you, there's a lot of submissions already, and I'm only doing this for an hour. So if you want me to review your design and you haven't yet submitted, you will have to click the little money super chat icon here on YouTube and actually pay me something. If you pay me something, you get thrust to the very beginning of the queue, assuming no other super chatters are in front of you, and then I will review your design. And I have JVS helping uh, with that. So he's going to be helping me, which is appreciated um, because there's so many submissions. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first one, uh, which is way up here. And of course, it is Sam Nan, just like as always. I think he lives here more than he probably spends time with his own family. Uh, he is here 24-7, just about. All right, so let's check. Uh, it says, hit reload when changing your window size. All right. Do I lift? Somebody asked me in the chat. Um, yeah, before this stupid-ass quarantine. I, I have a trainer, but I have to pay him $50 every time I want to lift, so that kind of sucks. I, I lift in his garage. All right, so let's refresh this. Hi, I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm a full stack des uh, designer and developer. Okay, that was quick. So if I'm a, I'm a client, I was, probably didn't have a lot of chance to read that. So if you want to leave that up a little bit longer, fine. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm somebody who wants a web design of some sort, an app design, okay? Um, 
All right, I bring your imaginations to life. Took my advice in a previous live stream. Uh, it's best, you know, to to emphasize your benefits over your features. Um, all right, you're a full stack designer, uh, developer, and UI UX designer. Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to click because I want to see your work, what you're capable of producing, is the portfolio button. So it's good that the portfolio button is there. All right, a piece of my work. I would change that verbiage. That doesn't really make sense. Uh, a piece of my work. Um, you could just put by uh, portfolio or work I have done or something similar to that. All right. Slint, what is this? This looks like a Discord clone of some sort. It's kind of half cut off here. Um, dribble, of course, if I go there, maybe that'll be there. Okay. All right. All right, one thing that's a, a tad bit frustrating, like for instance, oh, if I hit the back button, that's not good. It takes me back to the uh, the beginning. So now I have to go back to click the portfolio button. One thing that's not good is like when I come here, it cuts off the design. You need some way, I would like to see as a client, uh, I would like just a way to, to stay on your page and look at the whole design full screen without it being cut off and without having to click dribble and be hands. All right, so we have a contact, we have an about. What am I gonna learn? Okay, I guess it's not done. What about the contact page? Okay, so I guess it's not done all the way. All right, so would I hire you? Well, of course not because this isn't finished. So they're all going to the same portfolio link. Uh, but from what I see here, it's pretty solid. I know you're 13 years old, so you're definitely on the right track for sure. All right. So, all right. I uh, what we're gonna do now? I I, I guess we'll we'll rate it. Uh, do you guys want to do the ratings where I ask you to rate on a scale of one to ten, and then when I show you and, and also I rate it? Do you want to do that? Let me know in the chat. All right, we have two yeses. Okay. All right, on a scale of one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, what do you think Mr. Samnan should get for his portfolio? One being the worst, 10 being the best. You have 10 seconds. This is pretty solid. Here's the contact. All right, I'm gonna say a hmm. I got six point eight or so. It's pretty solid. Actually, I mean, if if I were to count in for his age, I would say um, even even higher because this is good for somebody who's you know. Assuming that he didn't like just copy somebody else's template or design. This is pretty solid. All right, let's go on to the next one. And this is a super chat. All right, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Gary, would you hire me? All right. Let's answer that question. Full stack developer. I love to design to build beautiful user interfaces. All right, that's good enough. All right, so this is giving me no call to action anywhere, so I'm just gonna scroll down. All right, front end, I create unique impressions with clean code and excellent performance. I develop structure, functionality, okay, okay. All right, we got our skills. Uh, Gramingo, it's a grammar, spelling, and style corrector in Spanish. Can I visit it? Yes, I can. All right, this dude made this. Okay. Pick up go in development. All right, so you only have two portfolio projects and only one of them is a live site. So as a, a potential client, 
you know, I'd probably put this a little bit lower on my list because you have to, you guys have to understand when you have, I, uh, when you have a client, somebody who's looking for a de designer, a developer, they're likely going to be going through at least a dozen, but sometimes many more, like 50 plus developers. So you have to understand that if you're not finding clients and you only have one or two projects, you're you're going to have a really tough time. Uh, so that's one of the things that you have to really consider to do as much as you can to put to put pad your portfolio with as many projects as possible preferably preferably ones that are live I, I know it's tough uh, but you can do it uh, it's not complex it just requires work I uh, and, and there's a lot of different ways you can get projects and stuff um, I, I know a lot of people say you should always get paid for your work but if you're starting out I it wouldn't hurt to take on some pro bono type of work so that that way you can you can actually pad your portfolio so we have a let's talk okay email all right that works uh, so you, you're you're covering all the bases here at least you know one thing you should have is a call to action so quickly take me to this area even if it's an anchor link um, and you you're, you're you put everything that you do but the biggest part that's lacking is the number of projects in your portfolio. All right. So also, I would left align this visit site. It looks a little strange. Everything else is left in line, but this is not being left in line. It would push this to the left and a little bit more white space. All right. So one being the worst, ten being the best. Let me know what you guys think this person should get for a rating. It is a weird shape at the bottom. This is weird, I have to say. For me, I'm going to give this one a six point two, maybe around there. All right. Thank you for the uh, for the super chat. All right, let's continue on. No more super chats. Let's see if I can find my way back amongst the million upon millions of. All right, next person. Adobe XD may take a few seconds to load. Okay. All right. Let's uh, make this larger. I can't click on it. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just one big long scroll. Okay. So. Here's his name and experience out of this world. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Now, one thing. Okay, this was confused. This is confusing to me because this right here, the menu type is larger than the main headline, and that's I would say that's that's confusing. That would be confusing to me as a client. Um, so you you really want to rethink this section over here. Um, at least you are using some interesting ad copy. But at the same time, I don't know what exactly you do. That's why we usually have a subheadline indicating what what it is that you do. Uh, because this is really abstract and experience out of this world. Am I going to a, a, an amusement park? You know. <laughs> so yeah, definitely want to uh, elaborate, address within the first you know few seconds of when a person hits the site. Address what it is. All right, so. Coming down here, 14 years old. We got a lot of young people. That's a good thing, though. Definitely, you can never start too early. Um, my main focus in life is, however, okay, too much type. I don't, I don't want to have to read paragraphs. Uh, I, I mean, it, it's an about you page, but I want to put about me right here. I want to see your work as a client. I want to see what you're capable of doing first. All right. Skills would be above the about me. Nobody cares too much about you. I honestly, they want they want to know what your skills are, what your portfolio is. They don't want to know your life story. They may know they may want to know the the specific details about you after they know your skills in your work. And there's no there's no work here. And if you have an abundance of experience, then where's all the work? I understand this is probably a work in development though. All right, so what do you guys think? Would you hire this person? Me? Probably not. No, definitely not. Just for what I see here, at least. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and rate it. One being the worst, ten being the best.
I like I like the colors. The type is is pretty good, except over here. This is way too large. So there's a there's potential. I mean, you're 14 years old. I mean, this is this is solid though for 14. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a um for this. Yeah, we're just gonna do a big old four, maybe 4.5, uh, and that's because for one, it is a mock-up. There's no work, There's no work that has to take off at least two or three points. Um, so, you know, don't take this as you know, don't get sad over this. Uh, there's just some, some issues that you could easily fix. You could bump this up to a seven perhaps in the course of a few hours if you knew what you were doing. Okay, so let's continue on. Marked Pinion or whatever. Okay, check that out. Let's get this over here. Let me move this over here. There we go. All right. Okay, so he's a web developer, entrepreneur, and graphic designer. That's a quite a uh, wide range of skills. Okay. All right. Uh, there's no call to action. We have skills. My work. Okay, we can click on my work. All right. A, a nice smooth fade in there. My previous work. Um, let's see here. Okay, so you can go. We we can we can actually visit these other. Okay. That okay. So that's a little frustrating as a client, a potential client. The fact that this was shut down in 2020 and I can't even click on it, that's a little frustrating to me. If you have at least the design, just click it, put it in a light box as they call it and just like quickly show them at least what it looked like. But this is, it, both of these are shut down. That, that's not good. So you only have one piece of work in your portfolio. Yeah, that, that that's not gonna cut it. All right, so you need more work because that's the biggest thing that I'm going to determine whether or not I hire you is based on what you're able to do, you know? Um, it's a little weird seeing John Smith be put in here because it's going to make him think, oh, I have to click in there and delete it even though it's a placeholder value. So uh, I would fix that. And I'm not sure why you would put a Discord. Why would you put Discord there? Yeah, I want to do the because you have many form fields. It's going to be a chore just to fill this out. All right, so um, definitely improve that. From what I see here, I wouldn't hire you, uh, but I might if you, you know, address what I, you know, the things that I wanted to see. All right. So, what do you guys think? One being the worst, ten being the best. Me, I'm going to give this one. Wow, we got 409 people. All right. For me, I'm gonna give this one a... Just a 5.0, I think. It's right in the middle. There wasn't anything horrendously happening here. Um, there's just a massive lack of uh, projects in a little bit strange of a form. All right, and plus, don't put yourself twice here. That's just redundant. Okay, next up is a super chat. Thank you very much for the super chat. All right, if things are looking small, I can always increase, there we go. You guys probably see this stuff better. All right, hello, my name is is Sean, okay, I guess. Uh, I'm a software engineer from Inge uh, India. India. Okay, great. Then I guess because you're not giving me anywhere to click, I will scroll down like a normal person would do, I suppose. Um, web development, machine learning, problem solving. Can I click these? No. So why are you making this uh, a pointer in your CSS? I'm expecting to be able to click on this because I'm just your average stupid client, right? And I don't know why, you know, is my, my internet connection slow? Why why isn't this going? So definitely remove that. You can you can leave the hover effects, but just make it a normal cursor so that people don't think that there's something wrong when nothing happens when they click. Uh, my skills, okay. 
All right, because I'm a client, I'm 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 not smart, okay? And I don't know what these are. Like what are these things? So, just having icons in my opinion is not ideal. I uh, if I were to have a serious uh, portfolio I uh, in and I had it in my skills section, I would elaborate on, you know, maybe with a few sentences on what your general skills are, list out the icons along with uh, a label for each one of these. Now, more about me, okay. All right, one thing that's a big negative, I learned about HTML when I was in high school. High school is kind of a trigger word for clients, right? Uh, they don't want to think they're hiring a high schooler, even though maybe you learned it way back and you're not a high schooler anymore. I'm not sure I would put that. I would I would word that differently. I've learned I learned HTML X amount of years ago. Um, education. Now here's the problem. Where's your work? Like what projects have you worked on? Thirty days, thirty projects. I mean. We don't know what that is. I, I I wouldn't know what that is if I was a client. So, uh, you definitely need a portfolio. You don't have a portfolio. That's going to be a major problem. So, so far I've I've reviewed like what three or four different portfolios, and with exception to the first one, there was hardly any work in any any other ones. In this one, there is no work. I wouldn't call these portfolio projects because it was a part of a. A little you know challenge or whatever so would I hire you no because you don't have any work so right off the bat you can cut off the list because you have no work got to get the work all right so one being the worst ten being the best what do you people think he should get as a rating or I don't know if it's a he or a she but I uh, yeah I can't even go back to the home what's happening here there we go Four hundred sixty-four people watching. That's crazy. All right. So, giving this a rating again. The rating isn't just based on the UI design. It's a, it's about everything and the fact that there's no there's no portfolio that I can see. Um, so we're gonna have to get we have to late rate this accordingly. So I'm gonna have to rate this a four. Maybe even lower than that. Uh, the problem is, like I said. You know, if I were to rate this based on UI design alone, it might be like a 5.5 or so, uh, because there are some issues with the UI design. But it, if countering that, counting that into, that's going to be a big issue. All right, continuing on. <sighs> All right, thank you for the super chat. Click here. Let's check. Oh my God. All right, so immediately I might start seizuring <laughs> if I have one of those weird, you know, disorders or something because this is really throwing me off. I I think this effect is way too, you know, this mouse-based effect. It's cool, this kaleidoscope sort of thing, but I, it's way too distracting. So I would be like, what the hell's going on? All right, so I, my name is blah, blah, blah. I can barely read, I design and develop UI UX. So we're gonna scroll down, oh my God. So if I were a serious client, I would probably just click off the browser or hit the back button, go back to whatever job board or whatever there is. I, uh, simply because this is, this, is, this is too difficult for me um, to even begin to read this. So your average client, like I said before, they're going through at least a dozen, perhaps 50 or 100 different designer portfolios. And that means they have little time and they're not gonna be spending much time on your, uh, your portfolio. If they see something immediately that they don't like and they think is ridiculous, that's it. They're, they're clicking off, they're going to the next person. Um, and this is definitely one of those cases where it's probably gonna happen with you when there's so many other designers from which to choose. So you have to make sure you nail everything correct, especially the very first impression when they land on your site, either on a phone, tablet, or a desktop. Um, so this is going to be a big no. It's going to hurt you quite a bit. Coming down here, we have skills, all right? 
projects is all the way down here. Projects needs to be practically up at the top. Uh, even I mean, you have so much space at the top. Why not just put some of your projects up there anyhow? I. Uh, so, some of these projects don't even look bad. I, I'm not sure why, why I chose to do this. I mean, if you're designing stuff that looks like this, yeah, this is like a million times better. Like your your portfolio should be one of you know your best pieces of work. This right here, at least, is a lot better than your portfolio. So you you kind of hurt yourself in a way with this crazy background thing um, because that's going to throw a lot of people off. Yeah, it's cool, but just because you could do it doesn't mean you should. So I would definitely remedy that. I mean, this portfolio, you have a lot of work. So yeah, definitely, you know, address that for sure. So what do you guys think? Uh, one being the worst, 10 being the best. Actually has probably the, the best portfolio we've seen so far in terms of the work. But the portfolio itself, you know, this right here is bad. It's just, yeah, very difficult. Um, so we're going to give this one a like a 4.5 maybe. Just considering the fact that the portfolio itself was so bad. But the portfolio work, I could tell he's capable of producing, you know, seven or eight type of work, you know. All right. Continuing on. No link or Discord username provided. So, Phil, if you want me to review your work, you have to provide JVS in the chat with your link or your Discord username. All right, continuing on. Well, we have almost 500 people here. It's going to be like a freaking record. Okay, sweet. Now, let's see um, who is next. Super chat. All right, we have another super chat. Here's my portfolio who's not perfect after following Scrimba courses. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you know what I think as a, as a as a design potential design client, I'm thinking to myself is this like a PDF document or something? Because it has like that same sort of feel, like it, er, it's inset in this menu bar, which would normally be left aligned. Oh, we got some issues over there. Something was like uh, blinking. All right, so unfortunately, I can't read this type because, you know, I don't speak, what is this, like French or something? Um, Why is this half cut off? It's a little strange. So it looks like you're a logo designer or an identity designer. One thing that's a little weird is like doing these highlights right here makes me think that I want to deselect even though it's not a selection. So I'm not sure about that. Um, having a read more button, not sure about that either. I. I would change the verbiage to like my work. What I'm interested in most is, is 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 your work. So this shouldn't be going to the about me page. You should have one that says my work and it'll go here. Now in terms of the quality of your work, this is strange to me. Um, like this here, this work right here, and this for some reason is cut off, is not on par with this work. This Drake thing is like a lot better than this logo up here. So I would take this one, put it first. You want your best work up at the top. This is probably second best right here. So this and this need to go up here. And then sometimes if you have work that's, that's not that good, and sometimes to determine if your work is good or not, you have to ask other people. You can't use your own opinions or judgment. Um, just Ask friends and family, or people on social media, rank my work. You know, if you have like eight different pieces of work or six in your case, have them rank it and then only show the top three or whatever. Um, because some of these, like this one, I wouldn't hire you with this logo here. 
I just don't think it's it's anywhere near as, as good as what I would personally want. But the Drake right here in the Lamar office is a little bit better. All right. Um, having said that, the, the skills here is, pre is pretty a good section. Um, contact, no contact form. So that annoys me as a client because I'm going to have to get out my email client. That might not be set up. So have a contact form as well. All right, what do you guys think this person should get? One being the worst, 10 being the best. Yeah, this feels like a PDF document. Some of the design is pretty solid. I mean, it's not bad design. The type here is pretty good. So I'm gonna have to give this one a kind of like a 4.8, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna give that. Okay, thank you for submissions. All right, a new super chat just came in. All right, super chat six. Looks like we're just doing super chats today. Um, please check page four and three, and page four is prototyped, and I'm okay. Page four and three. Page four is prototype, they said, okay. Okay, so Puro Lounge, Puro Lounge, a place for creatives to hang out and experience the finest things in life. Unfortunately, this is not a portfolio. <laughs> this is only supposed to be portfolios today that you're submitting. This looks like for some service, uh, but because you did a super chat, I will very quickly um, analyze this. The biggest issue with this particular design is the fact that there's not enough white space. The, the white space is lacking massively. You shouldn't have your pictures and your thumbnails, this little, you know, this design portion so close to this area up here. So there's not enough space. Space things out on this type of resolution, which is kind of like a desktop resolution. Definitely want to fix that. It feels a lot, very blocky with all your blocks as well. So I might want to rethink that area. Um, so definitely ch uh, fix that as much as possible. This border going down here, this line, if that's supposed to be there, I would remove that. This part's, this page is a little bit better than the other page. Our services, uh, again, get rid of that line. This is better than you know the first page. And again, uh, watch my recent video about form design uh, to make sure you're not doing uh, this sort of thing, unless these are floating labels, but still floating labels aren't as ideal as just doing the standard thing, which is having its own label on, on top of the actual uh, text field. All right, so hopefully I was able to help you a little bit, but I am just doing reviews today specifically for portfolios. Okay, uh, next up. Oh my God, I'm getting a lot of super chats here. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, we'll do this one. Any feedback will be appreciated. Please review my portfolio. Okay, here we got a portfolio. Thank you for the super chats, by the way. All right. I am a client and I want a front end developer. All right, so I'm a front end developer. All right, well that at least initially, you know, addresses my concern about what this page is about. I develop responsive, user friendly and engaging websites and startups and businesses. Get in touch. Well, I'm not gonna get in touch with you because I wanna see your work first. So that means I would have rather to have a button that says, see my work. All right, get in touch. Could be a secondary button off to the side but really it's not necessary. The one button you do need is for me to see your work. And then maybe a secondary button could be my skills or something like that. So my work at least here is on the very preceding uh, section. So that's good. Coronavirus landing page. Okay, so if I click this, what happens? All right, it takes me to a design. That's, that's fine. Um, Let's see. Now, sometimes people want to click on the actual thumbnails. That's a part of a card. So this isn't clickable. 
The only thing that's clickable is this title, and that's not immediately obvious because it's not underlined either. So I'm a dumb client. I may not know this, and I may not be able to check it out. So I can have full context of each of each uh, your piece of work. So make these clickable. Um, Dunkin' Donuts website. Okay, well, they're probably gonna think, wow, this guy actually worked for Dunkin' Donuts, which could come to bite you in the butt when they realized this isn't, they didn't actually hire you. Unless they did, of course, that would be great. Okay, skills, uh, HTML, React.js, Node, UI design. See, I, I'm not sure if I'm a, a huge fan. I see this a lot in portfolios. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of these type of progress bars when it comes to ascertaining your skill levels across certain things. Um, I think that that is a great way for people to, like if they need a UI design and you're putting your, your UI design skills all the way down here, that's gonna hurt you. Of course, you wanna be honest, but at the same time, you wanna sell yourself as well. Um, so. I would probably opt to, to remove these th this sort of situation and I uh, elaborate on your skills in a different manner so that you're not hurting yourself if a person might need UI design. Um, education, all right, all right, all right. Resume, I would have a contact button or a get in touch button should go down here. The resume button could be off to the side. All right, what do you guys think this person should get for a uh, rating? One being the worst and 10 being the best. For me, design-wise, it's not too bad. You know, this is actually you know a little bit more solid than the other entries we received. I'm gonna give this a 6.5 or so. Yeah, I think that's fair. You guys seem to agree for the most part. All right, we've been doing it for 37 minutes already. All right, so that was right here. This was Super Chat 4. I think that's... Oh yeah, this is from Phil who actually did give a super chat, but didn't we didn't have the URL at first. Thank you for the super chat. All right, I'm gonna zoom this up a little bit, but right now at 100%, the first thing I'm thinking if I'm a client is, wow, there's a lot of space here. And if I see this right here, it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a hard time reading that. Um, so I'm gonna zoom this up just so everybody else can see to 125%. All right, purple espresso, web design, light on buzzard. What? Wait, web design, Leighton, I don't understand what that is. What is Leighton, Leighton, Leighton buzzard? Is that like a location, like a city or something? I have no clue. Somebody let me know in the chat what this means. All right, so for me right now, I'm confused as all hell. Creating bes bespoke websites and effective marketing strategy to grow your business. All right, um, let's see here. We'll click on learn more. Where does that take us? All right, so again, like I don't wanna be a broken record, but the, the thing I want, to, I want to see the most is your previous work. All right, so, um, oh, it is a location, okay. So yeah, I would fix this. It's a little bit weird, web design, like that. Maybe you're trying to get the keywords in for SEO, but there's better ways to do that. Um, or you can say web design in latent buzzard or whatever. All right. So now let's see here. Um, so yeah, have a, have a link to the to portfolio right here. I'm going to click on portfolio. And we're going to see what happens. All right. So you need to work on your visual. This is a this isn't from a client perspective, but this is from my designer perspective. You need to work on your um, your type a little bit. These two are too similar to each other. This is a headline, this is a subheadline. It is smaller, but there's still not enough distinction. Make this bold. Then you really separate those three out. All right, so can I click this? Okay, so view website. This is a tiny little link that says view website. There should be a nice button so that I can clearly see that. 
So if I click on this, and plus this is looking a little pixelated, it looks strange to me. It, it's an immediate turn off. All right. Um, so you do at least have a few, you know, there's three of them here. So make that view website part bigger for sure. And your contrast, if I have any issues with my eyes or my monitor is kind of messed up and it looks even like worse than this, like you're, you're gonna lose people because they don't wanna read something that's hard for them to read. Increase that contrast for sure. All right, so what do you guys think this person should get for a rating, one being the worst and 10 being the best? For me, what am I gonna get this one? I'll give this one like a, Six point five ish, I think. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Thank you for the super chat. How are you? Here's my portfolio. I just finished a couple days ago, so the descriptions of my project project will be updated later today. Okay, let's check it out. All right. Hi, I'm Al Alexander. Alexander, okay, draw, I'm used to that being draw. Okay, a front-end developer. All right, simple enough. We have a little bokeh or whatever you call effect kind of happening in the background here. Um, portfolio. All right, so knowing that people will probably click portfolio first, I would put the portfolio section right here. Put your about me section underneath the portfolio. That way you don't have like this big scroll right here. Um, all right, smiley blog. I added a blog or blah, blah, blah. This is kind of messy layout the way you have this. Um, the alignment's a little sort of strange, but again, I'm gonna play the role of, uh, like like right here, Nuxt view JS. I thought this is like a clickable link, like to, to take me there. I do see this, but this is still confusing. This icon needs to have an accompanying or associated label, like view project or visit the site. Um, so I, I would definitely fix that. All right, so this isn't bad, but you definitely rework this area. The, the, these things are kind of a little bit confusing. Mern auth boilerplate. I'm not sure I would put that above a real project like Henkel Construction. This is an actual company. So anything like this, Put that either don't leave, don't include something like this at all, or put it at the bottom. Because as a client, I want to see what you've done for other clients, other actual, you know, companies. So one of the problems here is is you only have out of one, two, three, four, five, six different portfolio projects, you only have two that appear or maybe three, whatever phone store is, um, that are real projects for real companies. So try to pad it with more real projects and less templates or slash uh, to do PD, PWA. See, because to me, this looks right. My, my immediate reaction or thoughts is a to-do app or PWA, it sounds like that's not for a real project. That's, that sounds like it's for practice or something. Um, so if it is a real project like that you made for yourself and that you launched, give it a name. That way I'll think it's a real project as opposed to like a to-do app or whatever PWA that you did on your own time just, just for the fun of it or just trying to learn, you know? Because I, I want somebody serious who's worked with a lot of people and with real um, uh, businesses. And get in touch, no form here. I, I may not want to have to bring out my, maybe my, my email client's not configured or whatever. I like to have a form here as well. All right, what do you guys think this person should get for a rating? One being the worst, 10 being the best.
For this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it a... I think just like a 6.5 or so. And it looks like that's pretty much what you guys are saying. Some are lower, some are higher. Some people said seven, some said five. Somebody said eight. Okay, um, thank you for that. Wow, we have 564 people watching. That's an all-time high, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Um, Super Chat 9, was that the one I just looked at? Because I have a crap memory. No, it's not, okay. All right, I'm a client and I want a UI UX guy. So we have a UI UX practitioner. <laughs> well, that's that's getting interesting with your, your synonyms there. Um, front end web developer, a, a side note, this is the me, Gary, talking. You, you're, a lot, your uh, type here is way too condensed. You want more white space. It's like all smashed up against each other vertically. Fix that. All right, so my projects, that's what I'm gonna click on first. Good thing that you have it. I don't know what work X is. What is work X? No clue. All right. My creations, instead of worrying about what you cannot control, okay, some sort of quote there. Um, COVID-19 world tracker. I click on this. Okay, made this. Tic-tac-toe. Um, This.portfolio. Gaming, India tracker. To do app life calendar. All right, so it looks like there's a few actual real projects that you did for other people, like Choose Life, maybe, or I'm not sure. All right, SK TVS Motors, that's a real one. Put that number one. CMR Gaming, put that number two. I so you want to put your real projects first. These other ones, they look like they're perhaps could be like for practice. As a client, I don't care about tic-tac-toe. I don't care that you probably, you, I mean, you made this. I, I mean, unless I'm looking for a game. Uh, so a, a to-do app, that, it's just an immediate turnoff for a potential client when they see a to-do app, honestly, unless it's for a legit real to-do app. So get rid of some of these. These uh, I know you want to have more projects, but at the same time, some projects that you include will hurt you more than benefit you. So omit some of those, uh, some of those. So now let me show you something interesting. We go back to the home page. We can see there's some sort of animation that took a little bit too long, by the way. And I click on my projects. I look on here. I see your projects. Let's say I want to get in touch with you. Like how much does this cost or whatever? Like what are your rates? Whatever. Um, I'm trying to scroll down. I can't scroll down. There's no other buttons for me to contact you. I would have to go up to... I don't know, up here, but there's no contact explicitly stated. So you need a contact button. And also on each of these sub pages, have a prominent area, maybe at the bottom or to the side, where I can get in touch with you easily. Because right now you're, you're leaving me hanging in this way. All right, so what do you guys think this person should get for a rating? One being the uh, best, or no, worst, and 10 being the best. One being the worst and 10 being the best. Have a form here as well. For me, I'm gonna give this one a five point two. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Thank you for the super chat though. All right. Continuing on. Super chat 10, super chatted twice the same site. Okay, well, thank you for the extra money, man. All right, wait, 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 let me go back here. It's Emmy, 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 right here, okay. Emmy, you look like that dude, uh, PewDiePie, from uh, your, your little avatar here. Okay. All right, let's refresh this. I think we had some animation. Hi, I'm Emmy, UI UX designer. All right, that's kind of cool, like a little, you know, uh, background elements here. Um, okay, so 
there's something weird happening there. The cursor was freaking out. Whoa, so there's something strange happening. There's like a clickable blank area right here. Uh, let's scroll to see the work though. All right, Volvo V60, let's view the project. Let me go back and view another one. Bunker. Sometimes it's not obvious how we should interact with these. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be scroll based, so I was just scrolling down. Um, when you hover over, you can see it's it's the grabber icon. Um, I would put a little icon that signifies, you know, that you should grab these and drag these in order to filter through them. Or you could put a, radio, or, um, a horizontal progress bar where people can, not a, a progress bar, but a scroll bar where people can uh, filter through them that way. Bunker. Um, I would probably elaborate a little bit more on those cards about like what each one is aside from the name. This type is a little bit small down here because it's telling us what this is. And what's a little strange is I'm having to scroll way down in order to find and see what your actual work is. If this is the work, like this photo manipulation or photo compositing work, have that at the top so that I don't have to take all this work scrolling down to find out what it was. All the, the other stuff, I would, okay, so, so I'm kind of confused on what exactly the project was, so you need to elaborate further on that. And I would, I would have the project, the work, at the very top, whatever the final result is, because I don't know how long this goes. So it's cool that you have this run through, but I want to see the work first and foremost. Um, so what do you guys think this person should get for a rating? Um, seems to be pretty solid. Um, I'm not sure if I would tilt that. That's a little strange. Also, watch my video about how to how to do a form correctly. I just did that last week. Because um, you, you definitely won't, don't want to rely on placeholder values. I think it's definitely higher than a two. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon said two. Um, I think I'll give this one a, yeah, I think we'll go with like a seven for this. But there's just some usability issues um, with that carousel and also the work, each work I was kind of confused about what type of work it was. But you can easily address that. Thank you for that. And let's continue on. Um, Super Chat 10. I don't know what's happening here with this one. Hello, actually meant, I, I meant page in the set. What is happening here? Um, is this, no, let's go back here. Oh, that was a no, okay. Super chat 11, no link. Okay, super chat 12. All right, everybody, we have only a seven more minutes, so no more super chats. Don't send a super chat. JVS, don't send me any more super chats, even if they super chat me, because we're going to be done here pretty soon, and I have a few to get um, through already. Thank you, by the way, for helping me out. Okay, so, um, okay, let's see here. I am a visual designer and front-end developer. I will help you cultivate bonds between your product and your users. Okay, that's pretty decent. Um, not giving me anywhere to click, so I'm going to have to go on my own journey here, scrolling. And I don't know what's happening. Scroll stopped working. Whoa, yeah. So this is immediate turn off because if you're having issues with your portfolio, I don't want you dealing with my project because it was like stopped and I couldn't I couldn't continue anymore because we have some scroll hijacking occurring here. And I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I use my mouse scroll wheel and like it's it's really messing everything up. You're gonna have major points taken away from this uh, because of that issue. So I'm just gonna use this part. I'm gonna to have to use the scroll wheel, I mean, the scroll bar on the side. Um, 
So I don't even know what this is. There's no label saying that this is my portfolio or my work. So it's confusing to me. And the page keeps on reloading too. Web design and development. So this is basically a portfolio. I click on that and it reloads the home page. What's happening here? What is going on? Load. Oh my God. Yeah, so I don't know what's happening, honestly. Like what happens if I click on one? Okay. Well, so, so this is uh, you're using the uh, new more new morphism effect here. Um, this is a little bit better than that page because that was very very frustrating. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, the the design is completely broken. This page is broken because uh, the scroll wheel won't work. So I'm gonna have some big points taken away from that unfortunately um what do you think this person should get for a rating yeah and you click on work and it just comes down a little bit right here i have no clue what is happening and you come down here and you're presented with this blank screen unfortunately eugene yeah uh mr krenz go ahead and um Paste your 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 question again. I remember reading it, but I didn't answer it. And it was kind of a hard question to answer, honestly. Yeah, for this, we're gonna have to take in the fact that the site is broken, so I'm gonna have to rate this pretty low. So I'm gonna give you like a three at most because it's broke. Okay, sorry about that. All right, continuing on. No Discord username provided. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait. Code pen. All right. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. All right, I'll check that question out afterwards. Um, which one is it? Well, that's not going to work. but I'm actively working on my actual portfolio site. Are you using CodePen as your portfolio? I'm not sure about that. That's a little strange. Well, assuming it is, and because you did get give, give a super chat, I'll check that out again real quickly. Assuming this is your, you're using this for a portfolio, I wouldn't suggest using CodePen, this CodePen for your portfolio though. Um, always have your own site. It's gonna look more professional on your own domain. Um, you, you definitely want to yeah not go this route I uh, social dating app type CSS powered animation custom checklist so what this all tells me is like if I'm a client and I'm trying to hire somebody I want to hire somebody who's actually worked with other companies and has company based portfolio and work to show and not this but looking at this because you did pay me money we'll take a look at this uh, real quickly so it's cool that it is implemented in HTML and CSS. Looks like it might be uh, actually functioning. So that is cool. But because we're reviewing portfolios uh, and we're not really reviewing specific designs and much in the design sense, I'm gonna have to conclude this one here. We're not gonna be able to even bother with a rating. So definitely get yourself your own portfolio URL. Um, not my portfolio, but it would be great if you could review this. Okay, well, that's interesting. Is this person, Brittany, going to see my review? <laughs> All right, my name is Brittany something. I build things for the web. I'm a software engineer based in Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, specializing, okay. I uh, Get in touch. Uh, let's see. So the get in touch goes to email. Unfortunately, there's no work. So I'm just gonna scroll down. All right, this is her about me. All right, where I've worked, some things I've built. So as I've been mentioning, usually I'm the person, the client's gonna wanna see your work first. At least I would. Um, so this is pretty cool. We have a feature project, we have the title. 
and we have a nice description. I'm not too certain about changing the hue of these, but that's okay. Um, Spotify profile and his theme. Okay, so again, as, as with the other reviews, I'm gonna want to see actual work. Octo profile, this is pretty cool, but um, they say, I could tell that these aren't actual serious projects like for other clients, at least the Spotify profile and a theme. Um, so if I were to try to hire you, I want to see actual real work real, from, from real clients, really. Um, other noteworthy projects. Again, there, these seems more like just practice projects. So that's going to be a big issue. Try, uh, I'll give a big takeaway at the end of this because I see a lot of common themes that are playing out through these portfolios. All right. Thank you for the super chat. All right, thank you for all the videos. Oh, wait, 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 where is that guy? Oh, here's that question. What is your opinion, the best way to create a stunning animated website with great UX UI or how the best work? Pure HTML, CSS, or view? Well, that's a loaded question because there's a lot of great stunning animated websites that are made just with pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript without any type of frameworks. And then there are some that actually work with Vue, React, or whatever. So that's a moot point. Um, the best way to create a stunning animated website with great UX UI? That's a hard question to answer. Uh, practice, experience, um, de dedication, time, and effort into understanding. Uh, first, if it's great UX UI, then you have to understand UI UX. Uh, and, and you it, so, and there's many ways to go about it in, from, in terms of a technical approach. Uh, when it comes to animation, GSAP, you know, Greenstock Animation Platform, that's, that seems to be really popular. You'll see a lot of the sites like awards, awards.com. They're using Greenstock Animation Platform um, to implement really cool animated experiences. So if you're trying to get into something like that from a technical level, I would research uh, GSAP for sure. Research SVG based animation. Um, and of course, you're in order for. Uh, to have a great animated website that looks well, you also have to be a great UI designer. So you'd really have to brush up on your UI skills and really practice. That's my question, my answer to that question. Um, who's next? Titus. All right, so I think, is that the, is that the last one? JVS just, uh, yeah, so JVS. Um, I think I got to all of them, correct? Just wanted to thank you for all the videos are pretty to the point. Thanks for that. All right. Thank you very much for the super chat. All right. So Titus is a fellow mod and I meant to get to one of his um, reviews of his projects. I and I meant to do that last stream that I did. Um, so we're just going to view this Adobe XD prototype. It's not a portfolio, but I told him I would do this at the end. So we're going to check this out. And then we will conclude and I will give some final thoughts about what I've seen in terms of a takeaway um, that will help you guys out a lot who have portfolios. All right. So uh, before we start, please choose your preferred measuring unit. So the first thing that is confusing to me <clears throat> is I don't know what this is for. I, I need to choose measuring units, but what is this for? Like, what is this page for? Is there... Is this, is this already addressed? No. So you would definitely want to give me some indication as to what this app is about. Like pounds and kilograms, could, is this like a fitness app like uh, for, for tracking your bodybuilding or weightlifting sessions? I, I, I know the answer to this question, which is this is like a food app, but, or a recipe app of some sort. Um, but we definitely want to uh, address that. In terms of design, it's looking pretty solid so far though. Um, what theme would you like to use? So we can do like a dark mode or whatever. Um, thank you to give reviews and publish your own recipes. Sign up. All right. Um, I'm not sure if I would have thank you up here. Thank you usually is type that's that's relegated for after somebody actually signed up. Um, just because they chose a couple preferences, I wouldn't put thank you. So we rethink that part a little bit. 
Um, to give reviews and publish your own recipes, sign up. Um, instead of saying, I want to sign up, I would put the form right here for signing up and then put no thanks, I'll do that later at the bottom. That's gonna increase the amount of um, subscribers you, or you get, or actually members. So we can do I want to sign up, we can sign up with Google, Apple, or email. So I would put these things, those buttons on that previous screen. That way you save yourself a little bit of clicking. I'll click on, I'll do that later. All right, so this is the main app, I would assume, looking at this. So, um, Recommended, It does. there's no nav bar at the top or any type of bar like with the logo. So that's a little, that's kind of confusing a bit to me. We at least have like the logo or something, maybe. I could be wrong, I have to think about that a little bit more after using the app. But um, so vegetarian recipes, fish recipes, pork recipes. Um, chances are, because there's so many different types of food items, I would probably want to have uh, a quick like a search bar up here, either at the top, if you're not gonna have anything at the top, or just down here in this section where I can quickly search. I see the searches button down, is down here, but, you know, this is far down the page. So it should be here in this bar, but again, I would put it up here because chances are what you're showing me initially, that's not gonna be one I wanna make. All right, what else can I click? Nowhere else, oh, okay, so I can click on these so we can see the design for this page. This is pretty solid, it shows you a picture, it's in the name, we have ratings, save recipe, ingredients. All right, so, yep, uh, just looking at this further, it looks like there's a lot more other things here, but I think I've given you enough just to focus on to restructure some of this stuff. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right, uh, yeah, I think that's good for now. We're already at an, uh, almost an hour and 10 minutes. So um, hopefully I was able to help you guys quite a bit. I'm not gonna bother the rating for this um, just because it's kind of a separate thing from the stream. But I wanted to give you guys a primary thought um, based on all the portfolios that I just took a look at. My head's being cut off. Um, and that is this. When you, when you have a portfolio, the whole purpose is to get somebody to hire you um, either as an employer or you know if you're freelance as a subcontracting gig. So the very first impression when somebody comes to your site, you, ha you have to, A, you have to answer exactly what it is you do, what you are. Most of you seem to get that right. Um, and B, you have to direct them to what they want to see the most. Now, I could sit here and say, what clients want to see the most is your work, right? That's not always necessarily 100% true, because the only way you're ever gonna find what a user truly wants is through testing, all right? So there's something called A-B split testing, there's multivariate testing. Uh, you can find out, based on what your particular, your site is about, and this isn't just for portfolios or whatever, you can do that through testing, the th throwing traffic at it and seeing, you know, which button is it that a person clicks the most? What is it that they want to see the most? And that's what helps you ultimately at a, an individual unique level to identify, you know, what it is should I be placing? What buttons, what call to action should I be placing first and foremost? Now, another thing that I saw a lot of you guys do wrong is you'll put a headline and subheadline, but you won't give them anywhere else to click. Sometimes there'll be a little tiny scroll indicator at the bottom but that's really not enough. Give them a call to action that brings them to a part of your, your, your design. If it's on the same page, just it'll be like an anchor leak. If it's on a different page, it'll be, you know, portfolio.html or whatever. Um, just give somebody, give them a place to click and action to take. Uh, don't rely on them just having to scroll down and finding out what's there. Chances are people wanna see your work first. Secondary to that, they'll probably wanna see your skills and then Third to that would be your about us. Now, when, it when you're talking about your your portfolio, which is arguably one of the most important parts, your portfolio, I, a lot of you, I understand you're beginners, so you don't have real work to show, but you need to do everything possible to get real work in real portfolio projects for other people as much as possible. To-do list apps or, uh, 
work that was generated from watching YouTube tutorials, that's not going to cut it most of the time because your the clients are going to see through that. Now, how is a client going to know that? How how are they going to discard that stuff? Well, like I said, a, a, an average client's probably looking at at least a dozen, few dozen different design portfolios, and they're going to be able to see somebody who's actually worked with real companies, and that means something. So you're competing with a lot of other designers. And who do you think they're going to choose? Somebody who has a to-do list app and a calculator and a, and a tic-tac-toe game versus somebody who has work for actual real clients. So you need to try to find real clients as much as possible. And like I said, you know, you can do pro bono work. You do whatever it takes, honestly, to get your portfolio up with real clients. So in, in, in the beginning, that may mean you may have to undercharge, which I'm fine with because that's... That is a, a, an actual calculated business moves, move so that you can eventually get real, really good paying work. Uh, because otherwise, if you have no work and you have a bunch of tic-tac-toe games, you're not going to be making anything, right? So that's, that's my takeaway from it. Um, hopefully that helped you guys. And I will see you guys, yeah, real soon. So uh, we'll do this another week or two perhaps with a live stream. And then I will see you guys soon. Thanks for all the... Uh, the super chats too. Uh, we had so many that I really couldn't get to the other one, uh, other ones. But I, uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys 